Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the December Fright Crate. And yeah, it's a little late for a Fright Crate, but they've been running behind on shipping, US Postal Service having problems, and that's who they ship through. But they're very good with letting everyone know when they're behind and when they're shipping, and they do that via Facebook. So they're pretty responsive um, and throwing the information out there. So I appreciate that. Uh, I know some of the properties for this one and should be a solid one. It's not the one I'm most excited for. There are a few ones, a few coming up. Ooh, sorry. Just knock that. There are a few coming up that I'm particularly excited for. Like the one for January has something from a franchise that I really enjoy. So I'm excited about that. And then the February one that I just purchased um, has one of my favorite movies, which I actually have a large poster at the bottom of my basement stairs over there. And I've had that for a long time. I also have another poster for that movie I need to put up at some point. But anyway, let's get into it. The shirt is usually quite awesome. And I'm wondering what the shirt will be for this one. Packing material, obviously. Oh, real quick, the, uh, the quote. I always do the quote, and I forgot this time. Horror is not a genre, it's a reaction. John Carpenter. Sorry, let me see if I can get the, the lighting back to where it was. No, not quite. Looks fine, though. Sorry about that. Okay, so shirt first, as per usual. And, oh, yeah, this is cool. Okay, so this, this is a film that um, I wasn't, like, I saw it and liked it back, back in the day, but I wasn't, like, a huge fan of it at first. And then time went past, and I'm like, you know what? It's a genius film, really, and it really does hold up. So I'm happy to finally have a shirt for Scream. And I like that it has, like, the, the film celluloid marks on the side. That's super cool. I really like that. The, the, yeah, the killer looks great. It all looks good. Cindy and, I don't even remember what Drew Barrymore's character's name was in it because she gets off so quickly. Did she even have a name? It's been a while since I watched it too. But this looks great as usual. I'm assuming Max, Max Cave did it. Great artist. I always love the shirts. The shirts are my favorite thing, typically. All right, so here's a little magnet resin piece. Ooh, okay. This, okay. I was wondering what was going to be for this one. This one is pretty solid. Let me look here. Okay, so we have a magnet for Candyman. It doesn't look exactly like Tony Todd. It looks more generic, to be honest. It looks like a your knockoff Tony Todd. It looks like the poor man's Tony Todd, basically. The hook, that proportion of that hook is all sorts off, though. I will say that. That that hook looks way too large. And thick, in my opinion. Eh, not the best resin piece, but it's okay. It's okay. I mean, I'm happy to have a, a Candyman, you know, resin piece, but it's okay. Alright, next the bigger resin piece well i'll save that for the end i usually do that at the end so here's a pin their pins are always really well designed and this one is actually from a film i've not seen this so let me know in the comments is this something i definitely need to see my impression of this or what i've heard of this film is you don't necessarily need to see it but it's uh sleepwalkers so yeah i mean that looks great I mean, their pin designs are always really good. It's always, you know, double-backed. So if you really want to put it on something, some piece of clothing or a jacket or whatever, it'll stay. It won't, you know, end up flipping around like some of them do. But And it's big. This is a large one. I mean, in comparison to my hand, that's a pretty large one. It's like, yeah, I couldn't palm it really. Yeah, and I know that Sleepwalkers is like cat people or something. I, I just... That doesn't really appeal to me so much, but let me know in the comments. Is it one that you would recommend, or is it one I should continue to stay away from? Okay, so there's maybe an art print or an autograph or something. Oh, man, this is, yeah, it's a piece of art. It looks really good. Max Cave, who does the shirts, awesome, uh, has done a very nice leather face rendition. This is a really nice art print. Like, look at how good this is. Wow. I love, like, the pink and purple how that comes together it looks sinister it looks gross it pops it looks realistic for you know being a piece of artwork man that looks really good i love that and i love how the saw is just sticking up there and he signed it 
as well. He's got a cool signature, by the way. 2021, he did it. Yeah, that must be digital because his... Yeah, it doesn't look like it's wet signed or anything, but that, I don't care about that. It's fine. All right, so... And then the big resin piece. Oh, so I know what it must be. So I was trying to think, because I can't see it through all the bubble wrap. This is pretty cool. I like this. Solid. Definitely solid. More than solid, actually. This is very nice. Uh, creep show. Look at this. This is... The texture on this, too, is really nice. This one is nice. I quite like that. Look, it's the, it's the skeleton from creep show the movies that is man that looks good and it even says creep show it's not rounded out in the back so actually you know you could you could mount it on a wall somehow if you have enough sticky stuff that's pretty sticky because this is not super heavy but relatively heavy so you'd really have to have something that it it hears really really well but look at the detail on that like that eyeball the detail on the eyeball just yeah, there's some great, and then like I was saying, like the texture on the cloth that he's wearing is really nice. I mean, when you first look at this, it looks kind of simplistic, but once you actually looked at the sculpt on this, it's very detailed, especially like another thing. Look at, look at the detail on the hair. There's a lot of like crevices and nooks and crannies. Sorry, Thomas English Muffins reference, <laughs> and a lot of like nooks and crannies on this. That that sculpt job is tough, man. That's really nice. That's really well done. I like this a lot. Excellent job. And the paint job looks good, too. I don't really see any paint issues. QC, looking quite nice. Nice work. Nice work, Fright Crate. Very nice. Okay, so let me read what it was. Uh, for December 2020, it's exclusive Scream For Me shirt. What's your favorite scary movie? Digital art by our favorite artist, Max Cave. Like I said, big fan of Max Cave because of Fright Crate. Exclusive Creep Show bust inspired by the comic and poster art. This bust is brought to you by Serial Resin Co. As usual, and they do a great job. Exclusive Candyman Magnet, second outing from Serial Resin Co. Inspired from one of our all-time favorite 90s flicks. Yes, and I need to re-watch Candyman. I actually have it... It's in this big stack over here of Blu-rays I need to watch and do reviews for. So that will be coming at hopefully on the sooner end. I don't know. I will get to it. It will happen. Exclusive Sleepwalker print. Uh, exclusive pin, 2-inch soft enamel, double clutch. And then the exclusive leather face print. This month's mystery theme item, beautiful art by Max Cave. It is beautiful art by Max Cave. That is, I mean, just one more on that. This is a really nice box because this is amazing. This is a great piece of art. For anyone who likes Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that should definitely go on your wall or wherever you want to put it. Like I said, the quality on this Creep Show bust is really awesome. That is wonderful. It's cool to have... Well, I don't think it looks exactly like Tony Todd or even all that close to Tony Todd, and there's some proportion issues with the hook and stuff. It's still cool to have a magnet, a resin magnet. Like I said, don't really care that much about Sleepwalkers, but the pin is executed really well. And yeah, the t-shirt is really nice. Um, I really like this t-shirt. I'm excited to finally have something Scream. I don't have any Scream stuff, especially not a shirt. So now I do, and it looks so cool. Wonderful. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Getting bedhead from the shirt. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's a great one. Uh, I'm really excited for... I'm really excited for the next one because... Well, okay. Stop Stop right here if you don't want to know any of the franchises for the next one, and then I'll tell people what I'm excited for. Okay, the people who wanted to dr drop off are gone. So there is supposed to be a Tremors item in the January box. So when I get that, yeah. And if you know me, uh, I went through and watched all the Tremors films over the summer and really fell in love with that franchise. Even watched the TV show from Sci-Fi. My wife then got me the Blu-ray box set of all seven Tremors films, that includes the one that came out in October, Shrieker Island, which is good if you haven't seen it. It's definitely worth it. And then I also bought on DVD, because it's only available on DVD, the TV series. And I will be re-watching those. So if you have interest in reviews on those, I have a whole playlist on my channel for all the Tremor stuff. So just know that. But 
This is a great box as usual. Um, good job, Fright Crate. Uh, thanks everyone for checking this out. Do me a quick favor though. If you like this video or any video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. It's your best way to repay me. Costs you no money, just takes one second of your time. And it means a lot to me personally. It really does. I'm trying to grow a community here of horror nerds who like to see things like unboxings like this or do movie reviews or haul videos or any of that great stuff. But also you can put some comments down there. What do you love? What do you want to see Fright Crate do? That's one of the big things. What do you think they should really cover? I would like to see maybe like a resin piece from Ghoulies, I think would be a lot of fun. Um, what else would be a really good one? Maybe some Shining stuff would be a good time. I would really like that. I'm kind of looking for inspiration at the, at the autographs that I have. Uh, I know they've already done a Hellraiser thing. Ooh, the Howling would be nice. Okay, anyway, I'm going to cut this off. But thanks for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.